Heather Galler is a contemporary artist who creates paintings of landscapes, which are pictures of land. Some of her landscapes are cityscapes with buildings and trees, and some of her landscapes are in more rural settings with farmland and barns and sunsets. You can find lots of colors and patterns in Heather Galler's landscapes. She uses lots of different kinds of lines as we're going to be inspired to do today. Make sure you write your name and your class code and circle it on the back and you flip your paper over. We're going to start with a horizon line. Everybody say horizon line. Once we have our horizon line, we're going to divide up the space by drawing some wavy lines and then adding some more lines going horizontally to divide up the space. Once you have your sections of your land, then you can use one of these example papers on your table to look at how to draw a building. You might want to get a piece of sketch paper to practice drawing your building before you draw it onto your paper. So we draw two vertical lines up, a triangle for the front of the roof. Then make sure when you're drawing the bottom of your building, you don't want to draw that horizontal or diagonal line and make your building look like it's floating. So make sure you bring that line all the way down. You can add a door on your barn. And I'm going to add a rectangle on the side and give it a pattern when I add it to my final drawing. So once again, two vertical lines going down for the front wall of the barn. Two diagonal lines for the front of the roof. And you always want to make sure your lines line up. So my back line goes all the way down to the land so the back of my barn is not floating in space. And then I'll go back and add some more detail on the side. Now I'm going to add some different kinds of trees. This is a folk style art piece inspired by Heather Galler's folk style. So I'm going to try out some different styles of trees with some folksy lines, curving, swirling lines. Folk style doesn't necessarily look realistic, but it's fun and playful and colorful. So you can use these examples of trees for ideas, or you can make up your own style of tree. Now we are going to make sure we have a crazy paper underneath our paper before we start outlining with black permanent marker. So pretend like your marker is on a train track. Stay on the train track which is your pencil lines with your marker. And always try to make sure that you don't drag the back of your hand on your marker lines so we don't want to smear black across our paper. Try to do smooth lines. Take your time. The video is fast forwarded, so it looks like I'm doing this really fast, but I'm taking my time outlining, staying on the pencil lines. And if you make a little mistake, you can always go back with your eraser and erase carefully any of those pencil lines that maybe you missed while you're tracing. Now that we have our drawing outlined, it is time for us to add paint using tempera cakes. There are two different tempera cake sets at your table with different colors, so make sure you share them in the middle of your table so you can have a variety of colors. You can use a skinnier brush or a thicker brush depending on the section you are painting. So we wanna use a skinnier brush for our sky in the background in the small spaces, 
but then we can use this medium brush with the green tape to paint the larger sections on the bottom of our landscape. So a folk style landscape does not have to look realistic. I love the color green, so I am gonna start with the color green like grass, but I'm also going to add more non-realistic bright colors to the different sections in my folk style landscape drawing. So I'm going to rinse and tap my brush and switch to another color. Notice how, so I don't waste paint, I'm painting a few different sections at a time with a color before I switch to the next color. That way I don't waste any of that purple that's still in my brush. Paint all the sections that I want purple and then I can rinse and switch. I'm going to switch to this color palette and use kind of this turquoise color. And notice how when the paint is starting to get low, sometimes I have to swirl my brush on the inside edges of the temper cake to really wake up that paint, that turquoise color. Continue adding bright, fun, playful colors to the sections of your land. Now that you have the sections of your land painted, we're going to get a skinnier brush to draw a or paint a border, kind of like we're drawing, but with the paint. So carefully with a smaller brush, choose your sky color and create a outline or border around the things that you have on your horizon or in front of the sky. Kind of use the black lines as your border and trace the outside of those shapes. Then you will add more water to your brush to fill in all the space so we have nice, neat, smooth brush strokes around our background or our sky. Now that we have our background or sky painted, we are going to continue using whatever size brush you need, maybe a skinny brush to fill in the small details of your trees, your buildings, maybe you did a cityscape so you have lots of buildings to add color to. Whatever style landscape you chose, Add in your color. Once your paint is dry, we are going to use construction paper crayons to add patterns to the sections of land in our landscape. So I'm going to start with these curved lines. I chose this green color so that it would contrast with this light orange. Green is a cool color, orange is a warm color, so I knew the green would stand out on top of the light orange. Continue to maybe hold up your construction paper crayons on top of the colors to see if you think they would stand out with each other. If you have a green section of land, you probably don't wanna use a green crayon on top because the crayon won't show up. Try out different kinds of lines and patterns. Remember with our patterns, we want to be consistent and 
careful that we have a nice, consistent, clean pattern. So I'm going to try these swirly lines. Think about some fun crops that you might want to imagine in your head. What could these really cool foods that a farmer could be growing, what colors would these imaginary foods be on a farm? I tried this white crayon and it didn't show up very well, so I went back over it with a dark blue diagonal line pattern, and then I'm going to add a dotted line pattern in between. Continue to add patterns to all the sections of your landscape. Once you've completed the patterns in each section of your land, then it's time to sign your name. We want everyone to know who the artist is. So pick a spot maybe on your horizon line or alongside a tree or a building. I'm going to use the side of the barn. Now I'm going to sign very carefully, Miss Combs, and write the year 2021. And now you have your folk style landscape.